Hello, my marvellous sausages. Now, there are glowing Vex cubes in the Whisper mission. That makes it a hell of a lot easier because jumping is a massive part of the Whisper mission. You can kind of split it into two parts, really. At the end, you've got all the scrappy fighting part. But the first part is mainly made up of jumping parts. And uh, falling to your death is quite a common occurrence. So these cubes, here I am in the first section, will help you. There's five of them throughout the mission, at least five that we've discovered so far. Uh, but they're pretty, well, they're quite obvious to see when you know where to look. Now, this is the first one in the first area. We have to jump over there, okay? Now, it can be a bit tricky, and if you fall down there, it's a right pain to come all the way around and back up again. But what this does, you shoot the cube, and it'll create... A nice little platform there for you, look, so you can just wander on out and then jump up here and get through. Don't be killed by the get mind. So you can see that's really easy to get us up here. All the uh, ledges look like these, so I'll show you where the next one is. That's the first one. The next one is along a little bit in the Stranger Things looking area. This is one of the trickier jumps that you can try and do. Uh, well, you've got to jump around a corner. It sounds really simple, but it can be quite tricky. Just remember, you've got to go immediately around this corner. With a warlock, you can just float your way around. But with the hunters and the titans, it could be a little bit more difficult. For your titans, I'd recommend you having your, uh, what you call them, your uh, lion rampants on. And for your hunters, just jump out, turn, and then just jump back in on your second jump. That would be the best way to do that. Now, these slidey blocks are pushy death, uh, but you can uh, see where they are. Look, the lighter parts are where you should stand. The darker parts are where they slide out. So if you look on the floor, you can see exactly where the blocks are going to slide in and out. So you don't stand there and just get pushed slowly off to your death. See? Now, as we come out of here, the slidey block area, you can see we've got another one of the uh, Vex cubes. We shoot the cube... And there we go. What it does, it puts an extra bit of a platform out here. Now, it may not seem like much, but it does really help you jump over to the other side there. Which can be... So it's further than you think. So, yes, that's quite handy. That's where the second Vex block is. Now, for the next part, we've just jumped here to this lift here. Be careful with this lift and keep an eye out, look. Because as the lift goes up, you see, as you naturally jump off the top, you're going to get something go ping, jump and pop out there. That can really pop you off very easily. That little thing popping up there, so you have to keep an eye on it. So let me just jump up here and stand on the lift. And let's see as we come up. There it goes. It pops out. Make sure you don't get had by it. Like, you nearly had that. I tend to jump right over the top of it. Look, that can be very annoying too. Watch out for that, baby. Now, this section here I like to call the fun house because it's no fun at all. The reason being is that, uh, well, it's all on a slope. But you've got all these pushy walls here and they can push you off to your death. But the uh, Vex Cube can really help you out. You, The third one is just on the other side. Now, if you're in a, in a fire team of three, one of you gets through to the other end. Once you get there and shoot it, it'll really help you out. And, of course, Strand can be very useful here as well in case you fall. Because if you do fall, you fall down to your death there. So you've got to try and uh, watch the floor level and just uh, jump along. But it can be very tricky because once you go off that lip, you're deaded. Like I've just done there. Nearly. Oh, there we are. I just did it there. There we are. That's grand. That is really tricky, and you can get into a terrible loop of falling down and dying. But if you just come out here, and we look all the way over to our left over here, you can see another Vex Cube. Now, that Vex Cube really helps your chums out in the other room. If you shoot it... Now then, go back into the room, and what you can see here is a wall has appeared all the way along. Look. And now, you can't fall down. Well, you can a bit, I suppose, but it's a hell of a lot easier. You can just walk straight through it. Ouch! Ah! Uh, and, uh, <laughs> and not get killed by the fall. Although you still can get stumped in the head like I just did there. Watch out for that. So that's an excellently useful one, the Vex Cube there. Now, the next Vex Cube is right at the end of this section. So I'll just jump through to that for you. Now, here we are on this ledge, just going through to the end door there, and this is where we're going to find another glowy Vex cube. This one is uh, strange in the fact that it doesn't actually help you very much, but I think it's going to be uh, used a little bit later on for secrets for the oracles that pop up. I'll show you about those in the next section of the video, but if you just stand here and turn around, you can see there's another cube there. So if you shoot that... 
that creates another little bit of ledge there for you, which is excellently helpful. But what it's also done is created that ledge over there. So we can just jump over there, look, and probably you're going to find that this is going to be useful a little bit later on. At the moment, we don't know what it's for, but it does enable you to jump over there as well. But yes, so that's what the uh, fourth Vex Cube does. Now, the fifth one is in the spooky green room area with the excellent music. So you can join me there for that. And just in case you didn't know, because it looks like there's six doors in here, we're going to the one on the far top right over there to get into the next section. Now, here we are in the green room. Now, there's two exits out of this room. I'll show you the I'll, I'll show you the secret one in another tip coming up very soon. But we're just looking at the actual Vex uh, cubes that we need to shoot here, which can help you because I think... At some point, we're going to need to scale this room, definitely, in order to get a secret. So if you want to know how to scale the room, first of all, you want to jump onto the bowlark here in the center. Right, so here we are on the bowlark standing up in the center. Sorry, well, I had to cut it there. Now, we're going to jump all the way around the room. And the platforms, you can see here, see that little tuft of grass there? They all look like that. Uh, so they're the, your guide as to where to go, but I'll show you the route now. But if you look around the room, there's no real discerning way to tell which way to go from here. But by shooting the final Vex Cube, it'll make the route a lot clearer, okay? So let me show you how to get up there first, because if you've got teammates who can't do it and they want to come and collect something, it's not sure yet, whatever the thing is. It's going to be an oracle, I can guarantee it. So let me show you which way to go. So first of all, we want to jump over on here to this little tuft of grass. You can see it's like wavy tufts. I was looking at the old Whisper mission, and it didn't have the wavy grass grass on it last time so that's been a slight update here so we want to jump up to this section here turn around and we're gonna go up to there okay I find it much easier on the warlock but you might find your jumping on your Titan and your hunter easier than I do on for those particular uh, classes right where we are on the sa sand stupid boy grass Right, we're jumping all the way over here now to the end. When you land, carefully don't knock and fall on the floor. Okay, there's a, another little jumpy bit here. I'm being a bit cautious, but I just want to make sure we do it all. And up to here then. Okay, then we're turning around and we're going onto this little ledge here. Okay, uh, like that. There we go. And then we're going over to this ledge here, which is right above us. And then up again and across. Careful. Hopper and does slightly taper off there look be careful now we're going over to that one over there the grass is a giveaway for us which is very very nice so don't forget to hit on the grass and then i believe we're going up to this ledge here yes lovely and then we're going to go up to this ledge here we can actually stay on this one or this little one down here either always doesn't matter because then we're jumping up there to that one which is nice oh I slipped my arm on my chair there and he died. Okay, we're going to cross here. They are very, very narrow. So if you're rubbish at jumping and you're in a fire team and you've got one of you who is much better at jumping than the others, let the, uh, the jumper come up and do this and then you'll all be able to follow them a lot easier. Okay, next we're jumping over onto here. I was going to try for that big one there, but we'll just play it safe. Oh, sh**. I'm going in the corner. See how tricky it can be. Right, sorry. There, I'm back up here now. <laughs> That can be a bit tricky. You can hit the sides of the walls. It'll just bounce you off ever so slightly and you're going down again. Anyway, right, so here we are. We're going to continue on. You can see tufts of grass this way. So let's just be gentle and slow now and not be an idiot like I just was. And over to another one there. Just taking a little bit of the time. You could probably jump straight across, but I'm taking it easy. This one I'm going to go straight for because it seems uh, close enough. There we go. And then we've got another now just over here being hidden by that sticky out bit there. Look, lovely. Okay. And then we're going to go up there now. Okay. To the sticky out bit. You can see they're quite difficult to see. But once you know the way, it's not too bad. Now we're going to end up going over to there. But it's probably better just to land on this little one here. Just to edge your way there. And to this one here. Edge your way over there. Now, we're just going to pop around the corner and drop down, right? So, we jump out, look, and then uh, there we're going to go down to that bit of grass. Have a little bit of your jump left so you can hold yourself in. Bang. Now, here we are uh, in this area. This is one of the way, main ways to go to continue the mission. But, in here, you can see we've got a Vex Cube. Now, shoot that cube. And what that does, if you go back out and have a little look, 
we've got much bigger platforms. Let me show you. I'm going to jump completely down back to the bottom and I'll show you exactly what I mean. Because remember, when I looked up before, it was just basically a blank canvas. Uh, but now, when I look up, I'm just going to stand on the bowlock here to show you. It's easier because I want to. You can see now we've got the symbols showing you exactly where the ledges are and their bigger ledges. We've got a box out there. Look, we've got a box out there. It's easy to see. That one's sticking out there. That one's sticking out there. It makes the jumping section a hell of a lot easier for your chums who are following you off. Ooh, uh, so uh, let me just cut to go up there a second. Now, they haven't made it completely easy by uh, extending these ones this side, but you can see now we're nearly there. You can see how much easier it is once you get over to the other side. So let me just drop down here. There we go. And we're up here. And then from here, it does make it a lot easier because it's not as far to climb. So we could just jump straight across that one, look, which is excellent. There, we can do that. If we don't like the corner one, maybe we can just jump straight over here because we've got a bit more purchase now, look, in order to jump over. So you can cut out some of the more tricky jumps. And they are a little bit wider, too. So if you do hit the wall, it gives you a little bit more uh, leeway. So you don't get pushed off too hard. Yeah, there we are. That's good. So you can see that's excellent. That's well worth doing. And I'm sure we're going to find this very useful when we're coming to collect oracles in the future. I like that. That's great. Well done. Now, in one of my previous tips there, you saw that we jumped all the way around the corners of the room here in order to get up to the top. But there is a much easier way to do that. I think we're only going to need to go up there if we're going to get some of these oracles that are going to turn up. There's a little shortcut down here, which is incredibly easy. You're going to cut all this jumping out immediately. So we just jump into the room here. And then you want to get down on your hands and knees. And thank God, there's a little cave in here. Look, now we should. There we are. Make sure you're ducked. It's a tiny little cave. You can see you can just kind of get in there from here. Once you get in a bit closer, your ghost comes out. And then you can drop down here. Remember, though, once... Right, I can't get back up. Once you drop down, it's really hard to get back up. In fact, I've never been able to. So if you're going to go and do things in that room, make sure you do it first before you come this way. But this cuts out all that jumping lark, which easily cuts out, what, about five minutes? So it's going to save your time a, a hell of a lot as well. So you come in here. Come in here. Now, then this is the room uh, that we arrive in. Hello, Zoll! And you end up walking around... This blue bit here is so annoying. You get pushed off all the time. Make sure you cling to the wall because it can get a little bit hectic. And you carry on the mission as normal. So I hope that makes the jumping part of the Whisper mission a lot easier for you. You certainly will find yourself flying through it a hell of a lot quicker because there's timers on these missions. And if you're trying to do it solo, I have done it solo on the normal one. And if you know where you're jumping and how to make those jumps a lot easier, it really does make it a lot less painful. Yes. Let me know in the comments if you found anything else interesting in the Whisper mission. And if you enjoyed the vid, a like and a subscribe is utterly fantastic. Really helps the channel. And thank you so much if you deign to press the button. Thank you so much for watching. And I shall speak to you all again very soon. Sausage out.